If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to WrestlingFigures.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Everybody, <laughs> three reviews in one day got me fed up. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic Mod Am Toys video. Today we have our third review of our Elite Series 76. They finally arrived today, and we're on the last two figures of the set: Christian and Lacey Evans. I'm very excited to get into this review because not only are we going to review these two guys, but we are also going to rank all of Elite Series 76 from worst to best. In my personal opinion, you don't want to miss that because this is very important to the collectors when you want to buy them. Speaking of which, if you'd like to pick these up, go to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use your promo code MDTOYS to save that money and get some big time figures. AEW figures for pre order, all kinds of good ish over there to get. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. But first time in the line, Lacey Evans. This is our third first time in the line figure in this Elite Series, which is very exciting for a lot of collectors. I know a lot of people enjoy new characters in these waves. And, you know, they throw it in with some older guys like Cena and Strowman. But to get three first time in the lines, I think that's pretty freaking swell. But let's get into the review, guys, starting off with our front viewing window of Christian and Lacey Evans here. If you spin it to the right, you have your image of Christian here looking great with his little goatee. You got Lacey Evans with a little sweet mustache tee. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Spin it to the back. We do have a little bio read. If you'd like to read that, you can pause it now. Same images as before on the side. You got the rest of figures in the wave, which we have reviewed. Check those out. And then beautiful in-ring photographs of the two going down to the ring. And then we have the rest of the packaging pretty much covered nothing on the bottom nothing more at the top and let's go ahead shut the hell up and dive into the last two figures of elite series 76 and get this ish going so taking a look at Lacey evans and christian out of their packaging guys here they are with all of their accessories listed now do not forget that we are going to take a closer look at elite series 76 ranked from worst to best at the end of this video so definitely stay tuned for that but as far as these two are concerned you know i'm not as hyped on these two i think these are my least two that i was waiting for in the set you know we don't have a, a gang grill. We don't have a, a brood edge in this attire specifically to go with Christian. And Lacey Evans, while, you know, it's nice to add upon our roster, I'm not the biggest fan of her. She's actually one of my least favorite women's wrestlers. So will the figure outdo the Lacey Evans actual person? So will I like the figure more than I like her actual character on television? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out today, guys. So let's go ahead and dive into Lacey Evans' accessories and then take a closer look at Lacey. And then we will run things back and take a closer look at Christian's accessories and Christian. So take a closer look at Lacey Evans' accessories, guys. You will see here that she actually comes with a little bit of stuff. You got the hat. You got the entrance skirt thingy. You get her gloves. You get three pairs of interchangeable hands. And you even get her little handkerchief. Handkerchief, handkerchief, whatever you want to call it. Handkerchief? I don't know. Weird as shit. Anyways, it's basically just your little bitty cloth. This is like just a one, like one inch little square cloth. And I think that you could easily lose this if you're not careful. Now, I think it's very cool that they included this. Very cool detail that they included this now it's very it's it's made out of like a stretchier material it may be made out of the same exact material that the t-shirts are usually made out of with our mattel wwe figures but if you're gonna put this in her hand i recommend maybe folding it up like this and then just kind of sticking it down into the grabby hand like if you're trying to put it in the gloved hand you would just kind of wrap that up and then stick it in there weave this through her fingers right there and then you know you can get it in her hand like so so that's actually really cool that they included that as far as details on the gloves guys you actually do get a little bow right here on the hand in the white color. Very, very cool. I'm glad that they gave us gloved hands and bare hands because she doesn't wrestle in the gloves. So you do get two pairs of hands. You get the uh, bare fists and then you get the bare mic holding hands or grabbing hands or, you know, whatever the hell you want to call these. And then, of course, you get your gloved hands. Now, you guys already saw with the hat on her body, but it's a very weird shaped hat. You know, it's that Southern Belle style hat and it's very unique. It's got a very weird shape to it and I honestly don't even know how it's supposed to fit. I think it's supposed to fit like that. So if you want to see it on the figure, there you go. Very easily removable. It's not like John Cena in the past where the freaking thing just sits on top of her head like a jackass. And then you have this rubber malleable skirt piece that just clips on the back right there and it just goes around her waist and clips as you guys saw in the last part of the video. And it's very easily removable for her entrance gear and stuff. And that pretty much does it for Lacey Evans accessories. So you actually get everything that you would need for a Lacey Evans entrance, which is very cool. What the hell happened to the focus? Focus. I don't know why it's doing that shit. 
yet. Anyways, now that we've taken a closer look at Lacey's accessories, guys, let's take a closer look at Lacey Evans herself. So diving into Lacey Evans, guys, taking a look at this head sculpt. Now, I feel like other people's head sculpts look a little bit better than mine. I don't know if that's a thing, but I think the likeness is there. I definitely see Lacey Evans. I like the hair sculpt that we got going on with her hair. I think it looks pretty good in that regard. I like the lipstick. It's very bright. It looks nice and everything like that. I do notice that she took out her earrings. I don't know if she wrestles with earrings or not, but they are missing here. I think all of her ring gear looks good and stuff. You got single jointed arms. You got her painted on waist thing right here. On the back, you do get some cool details sculpted in here like this little string. You got her little shoulder wrap right here. Nice back muscle sculpted in there. You got all of her singlet going around. No buttons, you know, sculpted on, but they are painted on there. Her legs are on ball joints. She does have the larger blue knee pads, which fit on the figure nice. The articulation on these are actually really good as well. You get the double jointed knees, which are very nice. And then my favorite part of Lacey's entire attire, I've even said it to Brad. I've said it to many people on the channel before. Lacey Evans has some bitchin' boots, man, and I think they capture them well here. I love the colors they got going on. You get a little bit of ankle pivot, boot rotation. I just love the colors. They really pop off and kind of remind me of a Kurt Angle style boot, which are the best boots in the game next to Dolph Ziggler. My brother wants me to make a freaking video about my favorite boots in all of wrestling and show them off in figure form, but I thought that it'd be a stupid video idea, but if you guys want to see that, let me know. I'll do a whole video on that. But I love Lacey Evans' boots. I think they look great. You got the graphic there. You even got the bow tie in the back, so her boots are looking good, man. Now, that's all I have to really say about this Lacey Evans. I think it's a pretty strong figure. You guys can see the articulation here. She's got plenty of range of motion. She can do all the bends and joints here. If you replace these knee pads with smaller knee pads, it would even it would probably be even better. But I like everything going on with this Lacey, man. Pretty solid football figure. But that does it for our Lacey Evans, guys. So let's dive into some Lacey Evans figure comparisons. So if you're wondering what Lacey Evans would look like up next to the rest of your women in your female collection, you do have Lacey Evans up next to Alexa Bliss, the GOAT, Asuka, and Charlotte Flair here. And since we don't have any Lacey Evans to compare them to, I felt this would probably be your best bet to kind of see how she mixes in with the rest of the talent. So there is Lacey Evans up next to a few other female talents. But that pretty much does it for our Lacey Evans figure comparisons. So as far as Christian's concerned, guys, you really don't get as much as you get with Lacey Evans. You get a pair of interchangeable fists, which we've seen in the past. Out of the packaging, he does come with Mike holding hands in the same colorway. Obviously, no gloves or any BS like that. He does come with sunglasses, which was pretty prominent with the brood, and I will put them on the figure so you guys can see what this looks like right here. So basically, you just pour them on his face. You stick the damn thing in the ear hole, line it up with the other ear hole, push it on, and uh, oh, it's got to go under the hair, you dumb idiot. And bam, right there. Christian glasses. They fit the figure really well. They actually look really good on the figure, too. So if you're wondering, you know, what it looks like, there you go. Looks very strong. I will say the sunglasses on the back of the packaging do not match these sunglasses, but I'm not deducting football points. I don't give a damn. They're sunglasses. They fit the figure. They look good. And then you have his goblet of rock. Yeah, now raise your goblet of rock. Now, if you get that reference, you're a G. That's a God-tier movie. But here's his goblet. You get a great bunch of details in here, and you get, like, this dragon sculpted in here with, like, some sword-esque stuff going on. Very, very cool. I think this looks great. I think it's a great sculpt, whoever sculpted this. It feels really hard. You could even, uh, giggity. You could even put some juice in there. I don't know. This is obviously for their blood sacrifices. But there is your goblet, and if you wanted to put this into his hand, you would just take his mic-holding hand right here, and then you would plug this in, and it actually is a little bit malleable, you know, it, it, it's a giggity. And there you go. If you wanted to plug that into the hand right there, and he can hold his goblet. To rock. But that pretty much does it for Christian's accessories, guys. So now that we've covered Christian's accessories, let's take a closer look at Christian himself. So getting into Christian's figure, guys, I think this head sculpt looks good. You know, it really throws back to that old style Christian. You got the long hair going. I love the beard on here. I think you could even rip this hair piece off and create a lot of custom guys out of this if you wanted to. Tons of options there. The goatee looks nice. I love the necklace slash medallion you got going on. They did use a rubber piece for this shirt, so it's similar to like a Shane McMahon. Underneath the shirt, Shirt. He is in a Christian body mold, so that same, you know, standard Daniel Bryan style torso, stuff like that is underneath the shirt, and I don't think there's any white paint. It is the skin tone all the way through. The shoulders and sleeve of this guy look so sick, man. They did a great job sculpting this, man. The, the sculpt and all of the wrinkles in these sleeves would be excellent for like a 
Pennywise or something like that. I love the cuffs right here. I think they did a phenomenal job on this. The articulation is as follows. Like, I don't think it hinders any articulation as far as the single joints go. It articulates perfectly with the bicep swivel. The shoulders even have sculpted detail in there. Just overall, from the waist up, they did a phenomenal job on this Christian. And the reason I say from the waist up is because uh, the only thing that I don't like about the lower portion is that you can't really articulate his legs because of that rubber piece mold. So pushing his legs forward is going to be a problem. But I do love the deco that we got going on around here. I love the purple color. If you zoom in right here, you do get some like changes. It's not just a solid purple. You do get some cool details like tie-dye slash like paint mixing around here with this graphic, which kind of reminds me of the Brian Kendrick figure that we saw with the ringside exclusive. It's kind of esque is what I'm getting here with the, the brood decals and the deco going on with just your black solid standard boots. But I think this Christian figure is really underrated, man. If you, you know, if you grew up watching the brood or you got to see Christian when he was debuting and trying to get out there, this figure is great. And it, I hope one day we can get a gang grail and an edge and a similar attire and we can complete our full brood. But that does it for our Christian figure, guys. So let's dive into some Christian elite figure comparisons. So for your Christian Elite figure comparisons, guys, we do have the Battle Pack with Edge right here from the WrestleMania 35 Battle Pack, and I know it doesn't, uh, it's not supposed to be with the Brood, but I thought the Purple Tides would be a cool little comparison shot there so you guys can kind of see what's going on with that up next to that Edge if you wanted to head swap it or try to make, uh, you know, a Brood set out of these. Edge is supposed to obviously be taller than Christian, but I guess you could probably make it work if you wanted to. But there is Edge, and then of course we do have our Elite 11 Christian to compare it to, which looks looks really good. You guys can kind of see the same style tights and, and body parts and molds they used here. They're the same exact height. I think they did a good job there. You kind of get like a different eras of Christian going on with this Elite figure comparison as we compare the new Elite 76 with the Elite 11 on the left. But that does it for our Christian Elite figure comparisons. Alright guys, it is that time where we rank Elite Series 76 from worst to best in my own personal opinion. Now, it does not mean that if a figure comes in last that I do not like the figure and it doesn't mean that, you know, I, I want to get rid of these figures or something. It's just the way I had to rank them based on their Elite set. You know, if they were in a different set, maybe they would have been ranked higher, you know. But let's start off with spot number 6. Now, what came in at spot number 6 kind of pains me because there's some great things about this figure. But ultimately had to go with Christian. Now, Christian comes into the bottom of the ranking for me because you can't move his legs that well because of the, you know, the rubber piece mold, which isn't necessarily a huge deductible for me, but um, at the end of the day, you know, I don't feel like we necessarily needed it, and I, I feel like we're missing a gang grail. I feel like if we had a gang grail to uh, you know, put this figure with, it would be a lot more included in the collection. It probably wouldn't be ranked as low, but the sculpt on these sleeves and everything going on with it, the details and the pants and stuff, I think it's still a terrific figure and by no means is it bad. It just I, I like it less than the rest of the figures in the wave, so I had to put Christian at number six. Coming in number five, guys, I did go with Tucker. I went with Tucker because I felt like there are figures better than him in the set. I wasn't really feeling the head sculpt that much, and at the end of the day, I don't know. I'm just not big on Tucker. Maybe that's the reason why I'm not a big Tucker fan or something like that, but I'm, I'm, I don't really like Lacey at all. I don't know what it is. It's just kind of bleh to me. So I put Tucker just above Christian just because I felt like you could and articulate it more. I like a few things about this figure. I'm glad that we finally have a Tucker. I like the articulation on this guy. Feels good in the hand and everything like that, so Tucker does come in at number five. Coming in at four, guys, I went with Lacey Evans, and this Lacey Evans is really nice. I think the head sculpt is great. I think the accessories are really great. I love the articulation. The boots look phenomenal. The double jointed knees are really fantastic, and I do not like Lacey Evans, but this figure is freaking nice. I do like this Lacey Evans a lot. I think women's figures, man, they are starting to come up. Ever since the the inclusion of the double jointed knees and the true effects and the accessories man these figures have started to just get better and better and better every single wave and that is why Lacey Evans comes in at number four which is totally shocking to me coming in at number three guys we have my boy John Cena this may be a huge shock to you guys but I'm not going to play the bias card just because it's John Cena doesn't mean he automatically gets the top spot I think that there are some issues with this figure I wish that we would have got some new tooling um while you do get the great jersey and you know I'm a fan of the head sculpt I don't like the hair color I felt like you know, uh, I kind of wish they would have retooled these shoes, kind of like what we got with the new Otis with, like, the boots. Like, you know, just something new. I I'm just sick of seeing the same exact ankle articulation and the foot articulation. These are going to get super loose, and they're going to annoy the hell out of me, and for that reason, I had to put them at three. It's still a great figure. I like the accessories. It's John Cena. I like the head sculpt and the moment and the Babe Ruth jersey and all that. 
armbands, all that good stuff, but I had to put him at the number three spot. As far as number two is concerned, guys, I am go okay, I gotta go with two and one, right? So I gotta go with two and one here. Coming in at number two and one, guys, I have Braun Strowman at number two and Otis as number one. I think this is the best figure in the set. While this Braun Strowman is super badass, I think from head to toe, this is pretty much a perfect figure. I mean, my God, it is, it is phenomenal. I love this shirtless Braun Strowman, and I'm not a Braun Strowman guy, good God. But this figure is really fun to pose around, but this Otis just feels so good in the hand, guys. If you own this figure, you know what I'm talking about. It just is so nice. I love it. I love the articulation. I love the head sculpt. I love the aesthetics of it. I love this new knee joint stuff we got going on with the sculpted on knee pads and the double jointed knees. Like, he just feels so good. Now, like, look at that articulation, bro. I just love this. The boots are newly tooled. It's just a fun-ass figure to pose around with. I can't really describe it, but I would say that Otis is the best figure of Elite Series 76, just edging out Braun Strowman. But that is my ranking of Elite Series 76 from worst to best. But that does it for my review of Lacey Evans and Christian from Elite Series 76. Guys, I had a ton of fun sitting here and reviewing the full set for you guys. I did it all in one sitting, so I'd really appreciate it. Took a ton of time to film, edit, render all of this, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check out all the reviews. What do you think of my ranking? How would you rank all of Elite Series 76? Did you pick up any of these figures for yourself? Let me know down in the comment section. If you would like to pick up any figures from Elite Series 76 or any other figures you see in this video, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS. Take a screenshot of you ordering the figures, and I will shout you out on my story. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the reviews. Maybe some surgery coming up on these fellas. Some other football games coming up. But I had a ton of fun, guys. I really missed the reviews. I'm so glad that we finally got to sit down and do these reviews. Elite Series 77 is coming next, and I'm freaking hyped, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.